Francis Marquez, the vice president of Colombia, reached his threshold with Meghan Markle. A video rarity indicates that during their conversation at Women's Empowerment Forum on stage together, Francis disregarded and became angry towards her. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, shared the stage with Francis Marquez, Colombia's vice president at the yearly Women's Empowerment Forum in Bogota. The atmosphere was electric among attendees as they eagerly anticipated a joint address by both women on female leadership and gender equality. But contrary to expectations, their speech did not showcase seamless solidarity between them. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe and activate the notification bell to stay updated. As Meghan initiated her discourse, Camera seized a unique sight of Vice President Marquez's nearly suppressed contempt. Despite Meghan articulating passionately about her commitment towards women's rights and social justice, Marquez remained sternly by her side with eyes firmly fixed ahead while clenching jaw tightly shut. It was apparent to all present that animosity festered between the two women. The reason for the evident animosity between them was likely sparked by Meghan Markle's controversial visit to Colombia several months prior. This trip saw her attempting to raise her global profile and initiate collaborations between the Archwell Foundation and the Colombian government through a private meeting with Vice President Marquez. However, Marquez refused this request due to what she perceived as Meghan's theatrics from Hollywood rather than genuine commitment towards advocacy issues, surprising many royal watchers in doing so. Marquez stated to local media that Mrs. Markle's global reach does not equate to an understanding of the genuine struggles confronting women in places like Colombia. He further added that unless she exhibits a sincere effort towards actively engaging and tackling these issues hands-on, he has no interest in collaborating with her self-serving initiatives for personal gain or attention. Despite reports of Meghan being angry at Marquez's rebuke, the Duchess exercised caution and refrained from engaging in a public altercation with the influential political figure. Instead, she patiently waited for an opportune moment to seek retribution. Skipping ahead to the Women's Empowerment Forum, Meghan probably thought she had an advantage. The event was advertised as a gathering to honor female unity, giving Meghan an ideal opportunity to portray herself as a supporter of the movement and solidify her standing as a worldwide figurehead. However, Marquez had differing intentions. Meghan began to deliver her rehearsed speech about the significant role of changing the story and utilizing one's influence for positive impact. However, Vice President Marquez remained expressionless with her arms folded stubbornly. Unexpectedly, while Meghan was speaking on camera, Marquez coughed loudly as a clear sign of interrupting Duchess' train of thought. The audience hushed in anticipation as all eyes turned towards both women amidst an intense stare-down between them. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Markle, Marquez said with a condescending tone. However, I must interject and clarify certain aspects. Marquez continued speaking as Meghan's expression shifted to a state of surprise, yet she tried her best to force a smile. Marquez expressed gratitude for the attendance, but conveyed dissatisfaction with the form of performative activism displayed. He remarked that grand pronouncements made from an ivory tower were insufficient and requested evidence of tangible differences created in support of women advocacy efforts. As Meghan stood before them, surprisingly tongue-tied, the audience burst into a chorus of bewildered whispers. Meanwhile, Marquez was only beginning his performance. Talking about changing the narrative is simple when one has the privilege of flying on private jets and indulging in champagne at their lavish Montecito residence, she scoffed. However, attempting to do so as a struggling single mother who struggles just to put food onto the table or dealing with actual danger and discrimination solely because of being female would be an entirely different story. Meghan felt a surge of both embarrassment and anger as Marquez persistently berated her. Despite the Duchess's attempts to speak up, Marquez interrupted with a raised hand, effectively silencing any further objections. I'm sorry, Mrs. Markle, I haven't finished, stated the vice president firmly. The women of Colombia don't require a Californian princess's guidance to stand up for their rights, as we have been doing it on our own for years without any contribution from global elites assistance or overused cliches and meaningless acts. Henceforth, if you genuinely want to bring about change in society, Put your shoulder to the wheel and join us in this battle against inequality. Or else be respectful enough step aside and permit those who are putting forth tremendous effort continue with their work. Marquez received a standing ovation from the audience, with thunderous applause that lasted for some time. Meanwhile, Meghan was left in shock as the vice president walked off without offering any support to her, thus leaving Duchess alone amidst a swarm of cameras and media personnel. 
After the incident, there was a flurry of responses on the internet regarding Marquez's remarkable takedown of Meghan. While some admired the vice president for bravely confronting the presumptuous duchess, others alleged that she had acted in an excessively harsh and impolite manner. Despite her usual tendency to speak up, Meghan chose to remain unusually quiet except for a short message communicated by her spokesperson. Through the statement, she conveyed her disapproval of Marquez's unprofessional actions, but reaffirmed her commitment to furthering significant causes that benefit women and girls across the globe. Sources who are close to the Duchess claim that she was greatly affected by the incident, causing her to reflect on how she approaches global activism. It is even rumored that Meghan might reduce her public appearances in upcoming months and concentrate instead on philanthropic pursuits done out of sight from cameras. Regarding Marquez, there has been a spike in the vice president's popularity following the incident. Numerous Colombians consider her a heroic figure for standing up to the entitled duchess and have gone as far as promoting petitions urging Marquez to assume presidency, despite this clamor. She remains noncommittal on running for office given her experience in politics. The rivalry between Meghan Markle and Francis Marquez is undoubtedly ongoing, with the entire world anticipating its developments in the upcoming months or even years. This high-stakes diplomatic game of one-upmanship has captured a significant amount of attention.